Well, for more on the CBO's budget report, we are joined right now by Gail Walensky. She is an economist and a senior fellow at Project Hope. She ran Medicare and Medicaid from 1990 to 92. She was an advisor to President George H.W. Bush. We are glad to have you with us, Gail. Thanks very much. So what do you make of the budget? I mean, just how bad are the figures? Slightly less dire than they were last year, but very significant. 9.2 percent uh, deficit relative to the GDP is the second highest since World War II. Uh, only last year was worse. And all of that is current law. If there are expansions for any reason by the uh, proposed by the administration or done by the Congress, that, of course, has the potential of growing even larger. And, and as you've said, uh, it is not a very large reduction in the deficit that is being proposed, if the president actually could get a freeze in discretionary spending, that has been very hard to achieve in past administrations. So as you say, it's been hard to achieve in past administrations, but perhaps it's the right climate for us. You say that the freeze is a small percentage of the pie. I mean, could we see sort of lights going out in some federal buildings? And I think when you're talking about a $15 billion saving, you're going to see lights going out as a result of that. But if the president has also been talking about expanding the child credit, uh, about uh, uh, limiting how much people have to pay back from student loans relative to their income, uh, expanding uh, the elder care uh, allowances. All of those are going to cost money, and if at the same time overall discretionary spending is frozen, that will make for some real trade-offs. Again, historically, presidents talk about freezing discretionary spending. Discretionary spending is a small part of the total budget, and even so, very hard to achieve. I'd be more impressed if the Congress was embracing this uh, in terms of its leadership. Gail, it seems like it's a pretty tough political climate right now for the Obama administration. And of course, some of what the president seems to want to achieve is helping the middle class. What is the tone like in Washington right now? Well, there's a very delicate balancing going on. People are still reeling from the election in Massachusetts last week, uh, not just because of what it means for health care reform, uh, but because of the anger and discontent that was being reflected by the majority of the voters that voted for Senator-elect uh, Scott Brown. People are trying to digest what does it mean, not just for health care, what does it mean for other political activities uh, and um, proposals uh, in the Congress. A lot of uncertainty, a lot of concern. Hey, Gail, as a Washington insider, what is the single most important thing you think the president can say to the nation tomorrow evening? Trying to provide a sense of calm uh, and in charge order going forward and that the president hears the population when it says we're really worried about jobs. Convince me that you're focused on that and that you will do something to help me. Gail, we thank you so much for your time. Gail Olenski of Project HOPE.